consider problem one. The following data were collected on the weight pounds and height of women swimmers. Weight height 5 men, 5 swimmers. This is a sample. Find the least squares equation for this data with weight as the dependent variable. So, least squares equation, regression equation the same. So, we have to construct the equation of the form y hat is equal to a plus bx and weight is a dependent variable we denote by y so weight is y x is height so you can end up the this data in calculator or a cell or set or any statistical software and process regression Then after that you will get y hat is a plus b times x a will be negative 240 y 5 b will be 5.5 x is height y is weight you get this equation here and 5 question number 1 uh, question number two we are so here according to this equation if you increase height yeah, by one inch then you will see y hat will increase by 5.5 pounds so 5.5 pounds for every inch therefore the unit is in short Pound 5.5 pound per inch. Yeah. Pound per inch. So question number one. What is the unit of y intercept? Pound per inch. In this problem, B is 5.5 pound per inch. For every inch, the weight will increase by 5.5 pounds. So interpretation of B is like this yeah for one inch higher in height weight will increase by 5.5 pounds yeah. interpret this one and if the height is 63 x is 63 okay enter 63 and x compute negative 240.5 plus 5.5 times 63 is equal to and you will get 106 pounds as you by the weight okay this is done what is important is testing what is this test perform a test to determine whether there is evidence of a significant linear relationship between the two weight and height we mean this equation y hat is a plus b a b is 5.5 in the sample this equation is yeah y hat is negative 240.5 plus 5.5 times x height this equation is the best model to estimate weight using height which is the best for those sample data yeah? for those sample data For those sample data, this equation is the best. If we consider the whole population of women swimmers, if we know all data, then you will get the equation for the whole population. At this time, we don't know what A is called alpha. We don't know what B is called beta. So this is the unknown equation which is the best for the population of all women swimmers we don't know what alpha is but beta is but at least we should know we should determine that beta is zero or not zero suppose beta is zero then our equation is not useful why head is alpha for every x yeah? because zero times x is zero all the time so this equation is not useful for us 
if beta is not zero, then this equation will be useful. If we change a, y hat will change. So in the test, beta is not zero. That means the equation is significant. Yeah, this equation is significant. This equation is useful, reliable, and so on. Not equal to zero. Yeah, if zero, yeah, not useful. So for this test, you have to remember t table to use with degrees of freedom n minus two. N is some size number of pairs five in this problem. So. And this depends on alpha, level of significance, pi 0, 5 usually. And one did or two did test, this is two did test. You know? Zero or not, maybe less than zero, more than zero, two did. Therefore, plus minus, you know. And you go to D table and read at the corresponding row and columns. Test statistic computation. The test statistic formula is P divided by SP. Yeah, note this. So for this test, beta test, you must remember this. P is 5.5 in this problem. SP. You have to compute SP from if you use software, the SP is given directly in the parameter estimate table. If you use calculator, you have to compute SP by two-step formula. S E first. After that, SP, you compute. Then, T statistic. Yeah, check this. Correct or not? Yeah. And critical value is plus or minus 3.184. 1.82. So, let's go. Alpha 0 0.05, 2 delta S. T is of freedom 3. So, students see this here, T table. T is of freedom 3. M minus 2, N is 5. Yeah. And our test is 2 till equal to 0 or not. 2 till alpha point zero five. this column. So row 3, column 3, this one. 3.182. You have to determine the sign by yourself. Plus or minus or both. Our test is 2 till, therefore both. 3.182. Value of test statistic you compute SESP and B divided by SP three steps 5.97 here 5.97 So your rejection region is beyond positive critical value and negative critical value. Do the right of positive critical value, do the left of negative critical value. They are called rejection regions. This side also rejection regions too far away from zero so your test status is in the rejection region therefore reject HO you write formally the null hypothesis is rejected and the conclusion would be that so that means you reject HO that means HO is false you decide and H is true so conclusion decision is about HO the conclusion must be about H A significant H A not significant, not H A. Yeah? So you write there is a significant linear relationship between weight and height in the population. Weight depends for height also. In the population equation, y hat is alpha plus beta is. We believe that now beta is not zero. We have a useful equation for the whole population. So this is the end.